ready for the opening face-off. And it's first possession for the Brayhead clan. We're underway. Thankfully, we're underway. Osman and Maya hack at that one. Puck will come out to the far side. And Arson will have to chase it back. Franks, his defensive partner. And he looks up ice, doesn't see what he likes, wants to carry it a little further. Can't get it past Galbraith. Mayer forward. There's a tangle of bodies at the blue line. Play continues. The puck comes out into a slot, and Osman was onto it first. He's put under pressure by Salters. And they've both left the puck behind. The Singrays have cleared it down the ice far enough to allow them to make their first line change. Davis can't find a way out. Towner leads the charge. Frederick trails. Trying to go around Sullivan. Moving it across. Frederick with the shot. Save is made by Jones. And then again on the follow-up with Frederick trying to bank it in off the back of his legs from behind the goal line. Sam Towner making offense happen. He's getting more adventurous in his play as time goes on. Still a young player as the first penalty is going to be called on the Stingrays. Osman is the guilty man. And the first power play of the game is going the way of the clan. Arson back onto it again. Fritsch. In towards Salters. But sorry, Rayleigh really said it was. Backhanded save from Brown. Rail had a couple of goes at that. And Brown kept them both out. Now Fritsch moving in and shooting over the top. He should have done better with that. That was an uncontested wrist shot from a good position. And Fritsch didn't test Brown like Rail did. Davis gets it across to the far side. Pasha moves in. Shot is saved. Knocks is to it. And he's missed the target on the follow up. Chances now at both ends. That's going to be a tripping call for sure. Stingrays aren't going to be happy, but Mayer left his stick out and Rail went over it. They may not have agreed with the call, but it looks a fairly simple decision for referee Hogarth. Stingrays haven't always had the best of the officiating this season. Brown makes the save, and then the puck came loose. And Jameson was to it first, and he needed to be. Clan looked really dangerous tonight. Can they find a way through? Brown with the save, it goes through his glove and behind the goal. Turcott under pressure, and he's had the puck pinched from him by Pitt. Now Turcott's lost his stick. And he gloves it forward and the Stingrays get it clear. Turcott's gone back to get his glove and his stick. This is Fritsch in the corner. A couple of Stingrays for company. Gets it as far as Mayer. On to Pitt. And now on to Trim. And the clan have gone offside at the blue line. And the whistle brings play to a halt. Now there's room for Pasha. There's room for the one time, and what a goal from Lozon! Oh, it's been waved off! It's been waved off! Cancel the goal, it's been waved off! They're saying no goal, they're saying no goal. Man in the crease, I think, is the call. Interference on the netminder, perhaps. Lozon absolutely climbed into that one, and it whistled past Jones. But it will not count. May not have realised it on the announcement. But there is no goal and it will be a neutralised face-off. Let's take a look at it again. You can see Lowe's on at the bottom of your screen. The pass comes all the way across to him on the one-timer. He's the Stingrays player in the crease, getting in the way of things. Well, you could argue that he is. And that's the call that referee Hogarth has made. And it's the Stingrays left incredibly frustrated. Rail has the puck knocked off the end of his stick. 
The Stingrays have 20 seconds to make something happen. Davis. Can't stick handle their way past traffic. Puck is played in. Stingrays have to clear the zone under the laid offside. And that should just about do it for the final few seconds of the period. The clan will slow it down. The period will end. And that is that for the first session. Eventful, but scoreless. But should it have been scoreless? That's a big talking point. We'll be five on five at the start of the second period. Both teams had power play opportunities in the first. Stingrays 0 for 1, Clan 0 for 2. It's five on five as we get the second underway. Lozon and Keith go at it from the face off. The puck comes back to the Stingrays. And the crowd are still filtering back in, taking their seats. I know many of you have been tweeting in during the intermission. I'll get through a few of those when we get a stoppage. Puck will come to Galbraith. Lozon. Frank gets it to Keith. He'll send it around the rim. Pasha fires it back across, but it's intercepted by the clan. Maya lets that put go through his legs, and that'll cost him possession. Pasha. And Galbraith couldn't control that. Icing is waved off. I'm trying to work it into a dangerous scoring area, but crowded out by all those blue shirts. Frederick's got Keith all over him. She's also trying to get it to Pasha. Myers persistent. Myers done well. Got it to Salters. Salters with the shot. And it's blocked by Havato. Fitzgerald. And that one is kicked away. Go around Fritch. Which is going to try and press him against the boards. Galbraith's too strong. Galbraith spins and shoots and misses the target. Osman. Trying to send it back across to the far post. And just got knocked away. Tanaka. Moving into a dangerous area. No place to get his shot away. Tanaka again. Kavanagh gives him a shove. Pitt's done well. And can Rail complete the clearance? He can. Sullivan, room to shoot, and he does. Brown saves. Myers trying to get onto the puck. It was clear for a moment. I think Maya had every right to go after that. Brown looks at the referee and says, come on, man. Lisa, Craig, Curtis and Lewis are watching in from Paisley. They're clan fans. A circuit shot is deflected in by Lozon. And the Stingrays have the opening goal. And this one will not get washed out. The slap shot from Turcott. Looked as though it was tipped in front and went through the five hole of Jones. Let's see it again. It's the clean face off win. Turcotte's one timer. And Lozon realizes it's in. Hands are straight in the air. We'll wait for the official call. But it is the go ahead goal, the opening goal at 27 03. Well, Pasha checks what's available. And this time he avoids the hit. And it looks as though that has caused Fitzgerald a little bit of pain. He has made his way onto the bench very gingerly indeed. Sorry, in fact, I beg your pardon, it's Salters. Not Fitzgerald, it's Salters. The play is still live and Brown has covered it. Apologies for the misidentification. It was Salters that came in for the big hit, or attempted big hits on Pasha, and Pasha just gave him the ole. And Salters crashed into the boards. And the clan physio is looking at the left knee of Lee Salters down on the bench below us. Here's Galbraith. Stingrays have worked this nicely. Pasha can shoot from here, he does. Jones makes the save and the puck came loose. The clan got it. Just out of harm's way initially, but not out of the zone. So still Stingrace pressure in the closing moments. Sent across to the near side towards Avato. Just behind him for a one-timer. Puck comes loose and is cleared away. But it's going to be at the expense of an icing. Rail had just stepped back out of the box. 
The shot is blocked away. Stingrays will look to break, but the pass from Galbraith, intended for Lozon, is kicked away. Tanaka will come back in. Still with Tanaka. Oh, he tried to manoeuvre it in front, and that must be a penalty. Behind the play as Galbraith was taken out, and now Harper's in on goal. He's in on Brown. Brown's kicked it away. That's a great stop. But behind the play, Galbraith seemed like he was taken out. That surely had to be interference. I don't know if our camera's caught it or not. Or not. But what an opportunity for Tristan Harper. And David Brown has had a fine weekend. And that might be his best stop of the game. Stingrays don't get the puck out. They will now. Oh, it's not a good pass for Tanaka. Davis. Here come the clan again. He winds up for the big shot. It's deflected away. I think that one hurt Dominic Osman as he laid down to make the block. He's back on his skates, but he's not moving very well. And there's a sore one. Osman needs to get off the ice. He does not look comfortable out there. The clan are building up the pressure. Long shot from the boards is saved by Brown. That one has hit the glass and then gone up and hit the lighting. So 36 seconds to go in the period. The other Stingrays need a face-off win. And a good clearance, get the puck out of the zone. Had a little bit of a breather. Just get to the end of the period. The Clam won't want the period to end, they're on top right now. And this is Meyer. Still with Stefan Meyer. Frank. Salters. Jameson right with him. Salters backing in, trying to hold him off. Final 10 seconds, they're going to have to try and get a shot away soon. Salters might try and bring it in front, and it is saved and covered up by Brown. And then Salters had a little dig, and Basher had a little punch. David Brown called into action a couple of times late on in this period. And he's handled everything the clan have thrown at him. And all the sticks that have been swung at him. And I wonder if we're going to get some penalties called here, perhaps. Six seconds to go in the period. McVray is over at the timekeeper's bench. Stingrays are moving down the ice, they think. Face-off might be coming into the clan zone. Uh, nothing is going to be caught. Looks like we're going to be five on five. Although the clan box is open. Lee Salters is heading off to the... And there we are. Salters gets ten minutes of unsportsmanlike conduct. And as he made his way off the ice, he had a few words for the fans in A block and waving his hands. And I don't think he was quite as jolly as he seemed. So, 10 minutes misconduct on sportsmanlike conduct. 10 minute misconduct penalty on Salters. So, it'll still be five on five. The clan will be without one of their leading lights so far this season for the last six seconds. And the next 9.54 of the third period. And the Stingrays will lead going into that third period by a goal to nil. A goal from Jan Turcott, his third of the season, an assist to Corey Tanaka, and that is the only goal we have had so far in this game. And they can consolidate their spot in the playoff positions if they can hold or build onto the one goal lead that they have at the start of the third period. Keith pulled past Galbraith, and Galbraith pulled him back, and the clan have got a penalty inside 10 seconds. Fritsch keeps it in the zone. Back around to Meyer. Turcott out to Keith. Good position for a shot. And Brown reaches out. And makes a nice looking glove save. And the clan have gone offside. Meyer and Esders getting it wrong. And it looks as though the afters that we started to see. A lot of in the second period, they're going to continue here in the third. Nice to do so, he's now trying to hold off rail. 
Pass back out to Davis. Oh, he got tied up. Rail doing a good job, laying down and getting in the way. And Davis could neither get a shot off or a reverse pass. Singray's held up by the linesman. That could be costly. Keith's onto it. Drop pass. Arson. Oh, this is lovely. What a goal that is from the clan. They've worked that superbly. Slick passing. The Stingrays are frustrated. And I think it's Trim that got the final touch at the far side. All started when the Stingrays playing it down the far side boards. Couldn't get past the linesman. And the passing went one, two, three. And there it was at the back post. Brown scrambling across as best he can. But he couldn't keep it out. And indeed it is a goal for Trim. Meyer, now the clan will counter, two on two. Esdras drops it to Meyer, Esdras goes towards the goal. Oh, Brown has saved it, it nearly got away from him. And if Esdras had hung around the crease a little closer, he could have been in business. Tanaka to Lozon. Arson should reach this first. Lozon clashes into the boards and has stayed down. Osman, Osman shoots, save is made by Jones, oh and it came back to Tanaka and he hit it straight into the body of Jones. Two big chances for the whole Stingrays. And Tanaka saw the puck land perfectly on his stick and the first time shot was stopped. Not sure how much he had to shoot at. Now the Stingrays need to hustle back. Chilcott under pressure from Rail. And that's a nice little stop. Buys himself a few moments. But he doesn't get the puck down the boards, given away to Pitt. Puck stays in the zone and the shot goes all the way through. Fitzgerald, the goal's given. Brown's not happy. He thinks the puck came out of the zone for offside. But the clan have got a two goals to one lead. They've scored two unanswered in the period. And the shot through traffic. Brown couldn't stop it. Salters. Fritch. Moving in and scoring! And clinching it for the clan. It's Meyer on the board. With the third clan goal. Top of the league. On their way to two points tonight. It's a power play strike. Allowed to move in unchallenged. No one came to stop the shot. You wouldn't think it'll prove a costly miss, but we have seen some strange things in the Elite League this year. The clown can get this one away. They surely won't mess up this time. It's Pitt. It's all over. It's 4 1. And the league leading clan. I have another two points to add to their tally. So the Stingrays take the risk, and it doesn't work out. The empty net goal. This one into an empty net, tip over the top from Mayer. And the clan fans are having a conga. Play stops with 31 seconds left. Five have got an eighth goal, it's now 8-2 they lead. Still three more meetings between these two teams and they'll all be up in Brayhead. The clan are gonna win the season series here at the Hull Arena by three games to one. They haven't had the best of it over the last couple of seasons. And they will this year. And they're disappearing off over the horizon in the Gardner Conference, that's for sure. And the final few seconds are ticking away here. The Stingrays led going into the third period, but it is the clan with four unanswered who will claim the points here tonight. A great road performance. 
the result that was in doubt for long periods has gone at the clan way and their position at the top of the elite league standings is consolidated